Today we are going to be talking about escape velocity. Now in order to visualize this, let's imagine that we have a planet, for instance the Earth, and we have an object, maybe it's a rocket that's been just fired off, that is uh, wanting to escape the gravitational pull of the Earth. Now con the condition for this to happen is that the kinetic energy of this rocket will be converted to gravitational potential energy as it's moving away. Now, if the kinetic energy of the rocket, so let's just write this down, if the kinetic energy of the rocket equals the gravitational potential energy on the surface of the planet, which uh, the, uh, the magnitude of it is equal to gmm over r, then this object will continue to escape the gravitational field and in fact it will reach an infinite distance and it will never return to the um, to uh, to the to this planet we can calculate this speed we can calculate the escape velocity uh, for uh, for the planet earth for instance now all we need to do is to set the gravitational potential energy equal to the kinetic energy so let's do this our formula for kinetic energy is equal to a half mv squared and this will be equal to our magnitude for um, our potential energy which will be gmm divided by r notice that the mass of the rocket in this case will cancel out so the escape velocity is independent of the mass of the object that's trying to escape it only depends on the uh, mass and size of, of of the planet that we're trying to escape okay well let's just quickly rearrange for v which will be our escape velocity so v squared will be equal to 2 gm divided by r and um, finally what we can just do is take the square root of that so our escape velocity will be equal to 2 gm divided by r well let's plug in some numbers into this equation this will be equal to the uh, square root of 2 times our constant g is 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11 times the mass of the earth which is equal to 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms then we're going to need to divide this by the radius of the earth which is 6400 kilometers so it'll be 6400 times 10 to the power of 3. now if we put this into a scientific calculator we're going to get uh, up to two significant figures about 11 kilometers per second so 11 kilometers per second or um, approximately if we are sticking to SI units uh, in this case uh, this will also be equal to 11,000 just over 11,000 meters per second Okay, folks, so hopefully our online lesson on escape velocity makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing.